you know, this, this year has taken me so many directions. I am on my way to the grocery store right now. I have to go to Aldi's because we have no food and we keep putting it off. But you guys, I just started my new job and I am so excited um, and nervous at the same time, but more excited. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys pretty much know what I'm doing now and I'm a wax technician. That is what I got hired, hired under as and I love my boss. She is amazing. Um, I actually met her uh, when I first got to Germany, actually, because I was looking for a waxer and she was the most highly recommended and just me and her clicked right away. So I've been seeing her for the past year or just, you know, since I've been here the past year and a half. Um, and then she recently just started hiring and because she expanded her business because it was just her in the beginning and I was like, I jumped right on it because she knew my background. She knew what I did back in California and so she knew I was experienced in this kind of service. Um, I didn't wax, obviously. I just did eyelashes, but waxing was one of my favorite things to do in beauty school, so I'm really excited um, to connect with new people because I think that's one of the best things about the beauty industry was connecting with people and it's funny because I have a lot of old co-workers now from the CDC that are coming here or that are trying to book with me because I told them too about it and so I get to keep those connections and make new connections so I'm really excited <laughs> going under a tunnel again there's like three Aldi's that I know of that are near my house so yeah I'm gonna do some grocery shopping and then I will talk to you guys more about the job in a bit Nine cents, you guys, for a loaf of bread. I'm gonna get Steven pretzel. They literally have the biggest chocolate aisle you've ever seen. I haven't tried half of this stuff. Wait till you guys see how much the wine is $2.99. Two forty nine. It's crazy. I mean, why not? Why not? Since we went to Ireland, Steven's been obsessed with this stuff. Okay, these are really cute and they can work as nightstands and they're only $30. I'm definitely gonna have to bring Steven so he can see these. just so many things that Germany does so much better at than America like there are just so many things from living here that I'm just like I really wish it was like this in America and one of them are how cheap groceries are that's my phone oh no Hello? Anyways, back to what I was saying. Like, shopping on base, I only do if it's like really necessary and it's ma mainly it's like if I don't go shopping at all throughout the week and it's Sunday, I have to go on base. And man, I look so short, you guys. I know I'm short, but I try to make myself look taller on camera and it's not working right now. I completely forgot that they're doing construction in our building. So you guys might hear that. Yeah, it's very annoying. But I'm gonna show you guys still everything that I got. 
I got some toast, two cans of just spaghetti sauce, and I love this sauce. It's the bolognese, I think that's how you say it. Um, so good. I love the little carrots that are inside. Lord help me. I got tzatziki sauce. This was the smallest I could find it. And uh, we've been really wanting it, so I got, of course, the wine. Butter, Stephen's favorite butter. I got some meat. Oh, I totally forgot to give Stephen his pretzels. He just left to work. Dang it. Lunch meat and um, cheese. Oh, I did not see this lemon. This one's bad. Well, I got lemon and I got ginger. I wanna start making my ginger lemon teas in the morning again. And then I also just got some carrots. Now, I'm either just gonna steam these or eat them raw, like just sort of have them as a snack. Um, I got three Granny Smith apples, or green apples, whatever you wanna call them. And then a cucumber. But I'm pretty sure these were on sale, so I need to use this fast. And now it's raining outside, so I beat the rain. I'm starving right now, so I'm just gonna make some pasta. Something so satisfying about just plain spaghetti. Oh, so just as I started filming, it's raining again. <laughs> it's been really um, gloomy the last couple days in Germany, but I'm honestly loving it so much. Anyways, I told you guys I would update you later on my job. So, again, really excited. Um, at least for the first month, I'm still technically in, like, training mode. That was pretty much it. I mean, that's pretty much the gist of it. It's really strange because, like, when I first moved to Germany, things, everything was so new and, of course, exciting, but also sort of intimidating. And it's taken me a full year to really adjust. And what I mean by adjust, I mean feel comfortable, like feel like this is my home now. Um, although I'm far away from family and friends, you know, this, this year has taken me so many directions, but I've made new friends, I've, um, now I've had two jobs, which is kind of crazy to think how like everything played out. Um, but it's starting to feel just like a typical routine, like some like just how I would live at home pretty much. And in a way, you know, there's pros and cons with everything. It's almost sort of like, I don't know, I wouldn't say better, but I'm really glad I get to experience this and living in another country and getting to say like, I'm going to my job, or I'm going to go hang out with friends, and then I really think about it, and I'm like, I'm saying this, I'm sorry if I say like, by the way, a lot, um, but as I'm saying this out loud and thinking it, I'm thinking, I'm saying this, and I'm in Germany. It's just so weird, but in a good way. I haven't made any, like, military-related videos in a while, I feel like, and... I've just been struggling in that aspect. I think things have just become so normal and I can't make a video, I can't put out a video like that unless I'm feeling some sort of, some, unless I'm feeling some type of way. And lately I just feel 
that I've just I've just been adjusting and although there still has been a lot of change obviously I was at the CDC for like three months and then I quit and then I got this new job so there's still a lot going on but it feels more I can't I can't even I don't even know like what word I'm trying to bring out right now but it just feels good to feel like my purpose is finally showing while I'm here in Germany. For the longest time it felt like I was just waiting for Steven to come home and now I'm out and I'm doing my own thing. I have my friends, I have my job, um, I have other things to do other than just be at home. Not that being at home is, is a bad thing, but if I'm being completely honest with you guys, if you're not going to work and if you're not going to school, having kids is a whole other story. I'm not a mom, so I can't speak for people that have children, but if you're someone who was in my shoes, you moved to another country, you moved to another state, and for some reason just decided um, not to get another job, it's so important to do one or the other. It's so important to, to either have a job or be going to school. Because if you're not doing one or the other, it's, it's really just that much harder to find your purpose. And I feel that working at the CDC really helped navigate me into something I never really thought, or I told myself that I wouldn't enjoy. Um, you guys know in the past I talked about becoming a teacher and then I quit. I, I dropped out of school again and I didn't do it because I didn't think I would like it and I just, you know, all those negative thoughts. Penelope, no thank you. But the CDC sort of led me to be able to visualize myself as a teacher and I can see, I can really see it now. And I'm not gonna get totally into that yet. Um, I still have a lot of figuring out to do. But I am a strong believer of everything happens for a reason. And it's so important to try, just just try with anything it is that you, that you wanna do or don't think, I, I don't know, just putting yourself out there, even if you fail, at least then you know, okay, this really isn't for me. And I, I personally think with everything that you try or that you attempt, it does somehow lead you to where you're supposed to be. It's, it's just imagine yourself standing or sitting still, not going anywhere, not trying anything. How could you possibly get any closer to where you think you want to be or where you like you just can't you can't figure it out that way quitting was really hard for me because i really enjoyed it but then i also knew that this new job would give me new opportunities and just because i quit the cdc doesn't mean that that chapter is closed like if i wanted to go back into that sort of career, I have my whole life. So you guys have to think about it that way too, that some doors close so that a new one can open, but the, mo the main point is, is that you try. Um, and, and that's what really got me to feel like Germany is my home now because I'm out doing things like if I were at home, Nothing, nothing's really changed other than I'm in Germany. And so I hope I, my, my intentions are never to offend anybody. I'm always just trying to be as real as I can, even if it's harsh, because it's important to know. And yeah, I just, I finally feel like things are moving uh, for me. So it, it feels great. And I'm really excited for this new chapter uh, this year is almost over. It's so crazy. This year is almost over. I just I can't even believe it. But it's been oh, it's been a rocky year, but it's been a really good year. So, anyways, I am going to end this video now. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me. By the way, I got this sweater, like the sweater shirt. 
at Primark, you guys. I was gonna return my leggings um, because they were too big and so I was gonna exchange them. And then I saw this shirt and it was only six euro. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this, man. I swear that store be trapping me all the time. Um, but anyways, yeah. Love you guys. We'll see you on my next video.